fish number eight, another stunning little glumps near common. I was putting the bobbin on when this went, so it just goes to show you put the rig in the right place, you don't have to wait long for a bite. Just cast that, just setting the uh, bobbin, it went off in my hand again. Loads of side strain getting away from under them trees. Yeah, it's down there. You've got to let the rod do the work for you when you're fishing under them trees. Another fiery little common. Number nine is a little show off this one. And just like before, the rod went in my hand, so it's a testament to getting it on the right spot. Right, I've just returned number nine, and I've already spoke about how important it is to get it back on the right spot. And in order to do that, I'm using a line clip, you can see there, so it can only go as far as I want it to, which is just under the trees. And just in case I need to take it out of that clip, I've also got some marker elastic, so that I can re-clip it for the spot and get it accurate. getting a few bites now so I'm just going to quickly run you through what I've been doing. Bait wise I've been using the hybrid and I've been putting a booster dip over the top. The booster dip as the boiler falls through the water the booster dip will come off and fill the water column and just be attracting more fish into the area. Hook bait wise I've got a single hybrid tipped with a bright white cell made out of the Polaris mix and I'm baiting little and often. I'm baiting a couple of times before I cast getting the cast in the spot and put a few pouches over the top of the rod and it seems to be working. As you can see I'm fishing with uh, semi slack lines but my clutches are tightened right up because the fish are only going to go left or right so I'm going to be on it straight away. The semi, the bobbin half down is just to give me a bit more indication and time to get to the rod. The snags I'm fishing against ain't too savage so I'm getting the fish out, losing the odd one where you're at a tug of war. But yeah, it's all going well. Well this rod was only in the water literally about a minute and a half. And that is why I'm tipping it with them white baits so that my hook bait stands out above all the rest. And they're straight on it. It's definitely doing the trick today. Pain that one took me other rod out. <laughs> well, that's number eleven, and it's going well. Basically what I like to do, I like to bait a few in the bush and a few out and I always go a little bit further out than what my rig is so that my rig isn't the most danger like the outer side baits are so the rig is almost a safe bet for the fish to eat. Number 12, got to go home soon. It's a shame, but every day has to end.
there he is, number 12. We've had a great day here at Bluntsmere. It's uh, unfortunately time to go home. So I'll get this one back and hopefully come back another day. Best of luck to you. Well, I said the last one would be the last, but it wasn't. Just had this 17 pounder packing up. Great end to the day. Take care.